I think Thugzilla89 is actually a, a, a regular viewer of this channel. No, well, not like a regular. He doesn't watch everything. But I've seen his comments on my channel a few times before, so, you know, I've seen him around. Hi there. How does everybody feel about this new limited time dungeon? For those of you who don't know, the new limited time dungeon is going to drop gear. It's called Pinpoint Accuracy Gear. We've, I've talked about it in another video, but real quick, I'll talk about how it works. So in this dungeon, you're going to uh, basically go up against Odin, and he's got other champions with him, 30 stages, and you're going to drop, or you're going to have the chance to get this gear. Nine pieces, all in all, gives you 60 points of accuracy, 32% speed, and up to four stacks of intercept which prevents you from receiving a CC debuff. Now, it is a limited limited time event, only available during the Asgard uh, Divine Divide event. Which means you're basically going to want to, I guess, farm the crap out of this dungeon as much as possible, because to my understanding, once this is done, it's done, and you're not getting this again. Probably not. So that my cat just yelled at me. Good theory, or good idea in theory, but Polarium will find a way to make it an agonizing ordeal, I'm quite sure. You only have to spend 200,000 energy on average running HM10 to get fragments for Odin. The well, the sad reality is they come up with a good idea, then it becomes two or three bad ideas that Aristocrat Gaming forces on them. That's true, he's right. Aristocrat Gaming is the, um, I think, the parent company that kind of owns Polarium, and then Polarium obviously has uh, is a gaming company that owns multiple companies. Somebody fact-checked me. Uh, they're the gaming company that owns Polarium and a bunch of other games, I mean. So this guy says, I like it. It's something new, different from the usual Run Dragon 200,000 times slog. I've, I bet you there's, a, there's people out there who have done Dragon, who've slaughtered the Dragon 200,000 times. It also sounds like there will be new exclusive bosses for future time limited events. Variety is good. I hope Polarium follows suit with other gacha games and introduces shops for the events where you spend the currency you farm from event dungeons. It's a no-brainer, but Raid is behind on a lot of features. Dragon Village is a very down-low gacha game, but one of the best I've played. Really generous with rewards, even more now than when I played it. So, you know... Aside from all the bullcrap that Polarium pulls, honestly, like, I think they nailed it. I, I think somehow they, they nailed it, right? Because I've played other games like Eternal Evolution or Dragon, whatever, Dragonscape, Dragon, uh, whatever it's called. There's another Dragon Hero Collector game out there. There's a bunch of them. But basically, gotcha games do that. Honkai Star Rail did this to me. And uh, Wuwa, Wuthering Waves. I played those games and... They give you so many resources, so many rewards just for logging in, just for just for being there, just for showing up. They give you a lot of rewards and then they don't stop. And then eventually it just gets to a point where you either hit a rock wall and you're just stonewalled unless you pay or you get so bored because there's no challenge. There's nothing to do. But Polarium nailed it, I think, where they give you a good amount to make you feel hooked and feel like you've progressed and then they stop you. Kind of sucks, but I feel like they nailed the formula down because they're giving you just the right amount to get you a little bit hooked and get you invested, and then there there it is. Then you're hooked and you can't stop. Like some sort of path made for heroes where you earn currency from running dungeons or other activities, you spend currency on the route that best suits you. Yeah, so a lot of these guys have good ideas. I just hope they include this new dungeon into Dungeon Diver events. That's true. Um, I hope they do run them during the time, the limited time of period. If not, that's a huge problem because people would have to choose between farming a, t uh, a time limited dungeon or doing a normal event. That's true. I just want a steady drip of clock time, quality of life adjustments to accompany any new content like Hydra, for an example. <laughs> I play a lot too much, same, and I'm not at the point where I am completing everything. So dungeon runs still take minutes, not mere seconds. Hydra in a grind. All the arenas, Doom Tower, Irons, all of these continually adding new content but doing nothing to address the clock time. Or making it worse, makes it sad. Yeah, some advanced scripting for Hydra for more full auto. Like, 
it's kind of hard because Hydra is, you know, a myriad of things can go can go happen. But at the same time, it's like they were able to do it for Clan Boss. So how how much difficult could it be for Hydra? I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, hey, can't you guys make it happen? Because doing, you know, hours of Hydra just isn't cool, I guess. Like, if I think if you were able to do a auto one key for, you know, a specific amount of dungeon, then maybe take the average and do that. I don't know. Krakens are going to get so much speed sheep immunity gear, there isn't some type of key or limiting factor. So what, you shipping tons of Krakens right now with all your six star blessing champions? If not, then th yeah, that's true. Modern Thinker's right. This guy's complaining that Krakens are going to get much more powerful, but th the truth is, are you even going up against Krakens? Because me, when I see a Kraken, I just walk the other way. He's right. Are you shipping a ton of, uh, a ton of Krakens right now with all your six star blessed champions? If not, then there's no change for you. Krakens with 7 million team power and 45,000 resistance tremble at our two-star ascended armands. <laughs> Odin's going to be Amius 2.0? I hope not. It's only Amius if they put a ton of objective bullshit to make it more powerful. God, I fucking hate doing Amius so hard. I smell money. Lots of money. I'll take what I can from it, but it looks like it's going to be gated by the Mahdi wallet. Happy with the free stuff. I've been saving. I've been saving a bunch of... Um, I'm not on this account, but I've been saving a lot of... Uh, what do you call it? I've been saving a bunch of materials just because like I know that this is happening and I I, I just got to save everything for it. Not on this account, obviously, but you guys get what I'm saying. I appreciate this game. Enjoy it thoroughly. Tears for all the haters. There you go. There you go. Who's that uh, Ray, Ray, Ray Fort guy? Ray Raynard? He's always just like, hey, Burrito says quit the game. Yeah, dude. If you don't like the game, quit the game. Um, I mean, I'm open for discussion regardless of opinions. I did leave this to be an open case for everybody's opinion. I myself am trying to stay in the neutral zone until I see more details about it. I like that. It is trash because whales are going to spend hundreds of thousands of energy if the gear is good. Meanwhile, us will be happy to have a few decent pieces. Then the entire event is gone. You can't get more. Only if you need key and energy, that would be the solution. That's true. I'm not a spender. Let me tell you a secret. I don't care at all that the whales are getting a million gear pieces from it as long as they continue to finance my free entertainment. That's all there is to it. Is it this guy's got a point. Don't get jelly of people you're not competing with. What's even the point? That's true. Fully agree with this. Well said. Exactly. Arena is its own piece of shit PvP system. Clan Wars, uh, Clan Wars isn't fun. I don't know where else a whale existing would impact me a ton. Even um, Clash... Clan Wars? Oh, Siege. Hydra Clash tourneys are more or less indexed to my own level and clan levels. It's it's true. You know what I mean? And I've said this before. Kraken's basically fun, the game. The game wouldn't be as good as it is and available to free-to-play players if it wasn't for the fact that Krakens were spending the money. So you, in a way, kind of need to be thanking them for spending the money that they do. I'm not a Kraken. I was never a Kraken. I wailed out a few times, but I, I don't think I was ever... Um, part of that that league you know what i mean i kind of just play and have fun whenever i can have fun but uh, a lot of pvp stuff i just say set it forget it shit happens roll with it and go do something else play a, a different game there's so few active players in this game you would do very well to come up against mostly whales in the late game talking for myself okay i'll save judgment until i actually play for it hard to have a proper opinion on it now and that's the case for pretty much anything that comes out in Raid or just anything in life. You can have your speculations, you can have your thoughts on it, but until you actually experience it for yourself, you can't really form a solid opinion, just, you know, I guess a predisposed idea or a conception of what it possibly could make you feel like. I, initially, when Siege came out, I was like, you know, I'm not really for it, but I also said that I don't really know until... I actually start playing it. So I'm playing it now. We're participating. We've been winning. I've been I'm in three different clans. We've won some, we've lost some. Do I really care about Siege? Fuck no, I don't really care. It's just a little more arena. That's that's basically all it is. It's just arena in another form and like I guess it's interesting but not really. I set my teams. That takes like 2 minutes. I do my my arena fights. That takes a few minutes also, and then I go about my day, and I don't 
think about it until the next rotation. You know what I mean? Like, it's no big deal. It, and I, the, I got Feral Gear, or whatever it's called, but I don't really care about the gear. I haven't even used it yet. But I do care about Lamasu, the champion, and that's about it. Like, I care only as far as getting the fragments and winning the fragments to get the champion, and that's pretty much going to be it. Oh, and the avatars, because I care about the avatar, Nozuko. The concept seems pretty solid, but it's going to depend on the execution. The dungeon could be awesome, or it could be silly energy to face a crazy overtuned boss if you can get new gear every drop, every fight, or if there's a ton of filler rewards, like 50,000 fucking silver. Yay, more gear! I'm not gonna lie, the gear looks pretty meta. 60% accuracy, 32% increased speed, also with stackable intercept. It's another one of those nine-piece sets. Yeah, I don't think it's just more gear. This isn't just some regular speed set that you're getting from Dragon. 32% speed increase is huge. 60% 60 points of accuracy is huge. Like, let me show you guys again. Let me pull it up. Where's, where's my Asgard folder? Um, like, this is huge. This is not nothing. Even one piece, no Luffy, gives you 20 points of accuracy. Good filler pieces, good offset pieces. You ever, like, get four pieces, or the, the, you get a four-piece set on, and you have two random pieces that kind of just fill the roles? Well, now you're going to get even more filled out, if, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not nothing to scoff at. Intercept is going to be pretty good for you in PvP. Not Every fight is going to work out in your favor. That's just PvP in general. You're not going to outspend a Kraken. Unless you're a bigger Kraken. There's always a bigger Kraken. But, I mean, it's not nothing, right? So, it's not just, yay, more gear. It's, yeah, you know. I'd say, you know, take it, take whatever you can from it and then move on. Move on to the next thing. Don't let it stress you. They're thinking in the right di direction, but per usual, execution is terrible. I bet rewards are going to be super weak. I think they might go another way. Insanely good rewards like a champ at the end of the tournament locking one of the few new champions behind it because that's where the execution is going to go bad. I swear to fucking God, dude. If they do another goddamn champion training event where you have to get first place in order to win fucking Thor, I'm going to just not even bother. I'm going to say, hey, you know what? That's okay. And roll with it. Uh, I, I think if I remember correctly, the four champions that are coming are going to be summonable, right? Let me see. So it starts on the 12th, ends on the 24th, or 22nd? Uh, let's see. Buh, 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 buh. Mechanics, loyalty program, theme champions. I think I remember seeing somewhere that they are going to be available to summon from the summoning pool later on. Somebody fact check me on that. Fucking awesome. I've been waiting for time-limited events. Makes it so much more fun. It's just Doom Tower, but you use keys instead. Oh, but instead of keys, you spend energy. I want to play with Hot Odin Boss. Why? He's a Void Legendary. You might get lucky and be able to summon him. I want my husband now. Just saw this. The new gear set can be farmed from this dungeon. True. Unoriginal, the game has its own universe, per se. There's snippet outside of Influence. Rhonda monster hunter but those are far and few between this is straight up dungeon non-collab the gods are angry with teleria no they aren't no they aren't why is nobody mentioning very good possibility that this new time limited event is going to have a champion locked at the end or a tournament tied to it so that only one what first place can get odin as a champ very skeptical after playing for three years yeah, nobody's mentioning it because there's been no suggestion of anything. If people just start ranting about shit, it's pure speculation and it's complete pointless. You're just going to create panic. But also, like, I see where he's coming from. I did not expect Archer, who I went for, Nergigante Archer, to uh, be locked behind first place. And I went hard in the paint for her, only to lose to a Kraken in the last, like, ten hours. It was pretty bad. For four, four and a half days, I went hard. I spent hundreds... Maybe even a thousand? I don't think it was a thousand. I think it was like hundreds. And I saved up for a long time in preparation for it. But it ultimately ended up failing. But what are your guys' thoughts on this Asgard event? Let me know. If you're with it, cool. Are you against it? That's cool too. But 
if you're kind of just like me and you're just going to take it with a grain of salt, I think that's cool too. I, th I think that's probably the best. Anyway, have a good weekend. See you on the next one, which should be pretty soon because, you know, I have a goal. 500 videos by the end of this year. We're at 400 right now.